Hi everybody, congratulations to me. It's my Big Chop anniversary date, March 27th, 2013. I'm so excited because I didn't think I would get here. When I initially Big Chopped, it was something I had thought about for like at least seven months. Um, while I was transitioning, I had thought about it before I started um, thinking about going natural. Cutting my hair was just not even something that was in my to-do list. It wasn't on my agenda. It wasn't something that could happen for me. I did not like cutting my hair. When I had to trim my hair, it became like <laughs> so dreadful. I hated doing it. So what initially started me on my transition was the fact that I just was tired of relaxing my hair. Um, it wasn't no particular reason of why I was tired of doing it. It was just something that I didn't feel was necessary because when I would see my new growth coming, I was like, oh wow, it looks so soft. It looks like I don't need a perm. This is what I always felt like. But then it would be so difficult to take care of two different textures. So I would initially just go back to my perm. I mean, I used to go two to three months without touching it up. And then it would get really, really hard to take care of, you know, when you're shampooing it and it becomes so tangled. And I didn't really know too much about how to, um, how to shampoo correctly. Like there is a technique to how you should shampoo your hair. <laughs> and some people don't do that. Some people do. And I'm one of those people that do have a technique to doing it, which I just found, um, from watching YouTube videos and testing it out because I seen somebody do it and it seemed like something that it seemed like it would take a long time to do, but it was something I was like, maybe I should give it a try because maybe I'm just, um, you know, thinking too much about it. So long story short, I got the technique down packed. I like it. I like the fact of detangling before I get in the shower. I didn't think I would. I thought, who the heck is going to sit here, detangle their hair, then get, who's doing that? Like, that doesn't even make sense. It does. It's less time. It's it's um less breakage and it's um it's honestly easier so i like it that's how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna detangle before i get in i'm going to continue to shampoo at the scalp and then work my way down i'm gonna continuously use the cold rinse when i'm rinsing it out i think those things are really working for me okay so my daughter was a big reason for why i actually um decided to big chop my transition was i didn't want to perm my hair I don't want to do that no more. I'm just going to transition out and then, you know, work with my own hair. I'll flat iron and blow it out. So for the first couple of months of my transition, which started November 2011, that's what I did. I blew it out. I flat ironed my, um, my new growth. Then after a while, that became tiresome because I didn't want to, I didn't feel like doing that. I felt like it was just so much heat and it was just too much for me. I really don't have it was just too much I didn't want to do that I didn't want to mess with the heating tools I was getting tired of okay blow it out flat iron it and that took me two hours two hours because I don't flat iron big chunks I had to take small chunks I have a lot of hair it's it's really tiresome what was my purpose in stopping relaxing if I'm gonna do this and it's about almost the same amount of time okay so then I stopped flat so I'm like okay this flat ironing not flat ironing thing is totally <laughs> something new to me um I produced this right here since I was eight so not flat ironing was really really like what am I gonna do now then I kept looking at the YouTube videos and I seen these girls with these curls and coils and I'm like wow it looks so beautiful so then I started not to even envy them I was like really like wow I was like congratulating them like this is something that I want to get to but I don't know how to so spare the moment I'm sitting there like I'm gonna big chop but my boyfriend was like he didn't want me to big chop he didn't want me to cut off my hair he just wasn't that's not something that he was attracted to people with short hair I was like at first I was like okay I can understand that and plus you know you want to give your partner equal share in what you're doing with your with yourself so I respected it but then after a while I started to get the itch so one day I'm just sitting here, I took a little piece and cut it and I, um, I didn't let him know what I was doing. So I took a picture of it, but I only took a picture of that part and I was like, I cut all my hair off. He was like, what? No, you didn't. I said, yes, I did. So he didn't believe me. I said, I did. Like, don't you see? So I cut a little bit more so I could show him like a bigger chunk. So eventually he, he was just like, all right, well, hopefully you do something with it. You know what to do. <laughs> so I just cut it all off. And then when I did that, I showed him the whole picture. So he was like, oh, okay, it looks nice. Cool. 
then you know I really embraced it like immediately I felt relieved but I felt comfortable with it within like maybe a few days maybe a week because at first you know I'm so used to long hair of course you're uncomfortable or you're not sure about what others are gonna think but then eventually when I embraced it it didn't matter what anybody thought now I went through tremendous hairstyles and what was she thinking <laughs> I tried to do a wash and go. I had a wash and afro, and I thought, like, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like, girl. <laughs> you don't even understand. I went through the many different hairstyles. So, anyway, now I'm here, and it's my one year Big Chop anniversary. And I'm very happy. I'm very proud of myself. It's honestly making me really emotional because you learn something about yourself. Like, honestly, it was more of. Me. it was more so let me turn this off getting to know me and you know my hair was a really big thing like I guess you could say I hid behind my hair my whole life and I was scared like what are people gonna say they're gonna see my flaws they're gonna see this they're gonna see that when you have this long hair people are so caught up in your hair that they kind of bypass everything else about you and it's getting me emotional so I'm trying to hold that back my big chop showed me a lot about me and I'm able to embrace me more it's going natural makes me want to change my lifestyle eating habits you know everything it's opened me up to something totally different it is not just your hair it's everything my kids my relationships everything so um I don't want to cry <laughs> so I'm gonna stop and I wanted to talk to you guys about things that are my staples so, as you guys know, my leave-in staple, and I will go on and in about it, is the Allocate Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In. I love this to death. Give you up close so you guys can see that. Oh, my battery is dying. I'm so upset. My next um, favorite leave-in, this is a cream leave-in. It's the Giovanni's Direct Weightless Moisture Conditioner. I love this stuff. I didn't learn about it until a little bit later. And I used it for a wash and go. A wash and afro. Left my hair amazingly soft. What I do to test out a leave-in to know if I'm going to like it or not. Is I leave it. Um, I'll use it by itself. Like I'll put it on my hair after I've washed and conditioned. And rinse that all out. I'll put this on and won't put it on anything after it. And if my hair is still soft with this stuff on, then I know this is something I'm going to keep. If I use a leave-in and my hair feels like um, dry or crunchy or anything like that, I'm just looking at the battery blinking behind me. That's all. I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to keep it in my regimen. I may still use it because, of course, I paid for it. But it's not something I'm like, oh, yeah, this is no. No, you have to keep my hair soft. These are products that say they're going to do it. Do what you say you're going to do. So, as far as leave-ins, those are my two favorites. I really love those. Um, next is my rinse-out conditioner. I learned about this immediately. Like, this was the first thing I heard about. And this is the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. I have the big pump. Um, I bought this in Dwayne and Reed last summer, and then I had got some braids, so I wasn't able to use it as frequently. Now I am, and I use this all the time to detangle and to co-wash with. My other favorite, oops, excuse me is the Tresemme Naturals. I love this stuff like nothing else I know about. These two are my favorite co-washes and my favorite detangle assistants. They do me justice. Um, I like this one because of the slip. I feel like the moment I put it in, my hair is smooth immediately i can literally work it. any tangles or any knots that i have with this in it's wonderful i love this stuff like i will always have this i'm just waiting for it to kind of go on a two for seven sale i'm cheap um because by itself it's like seven dollars for one bottle and i love that stuff some of my things fell so please give me a second <laughs> um then as far as deep conditioners Okay, now, you guys know I'm a Shea Moisture fan. I've been a Shea Moisture fan for almost three years now, or two and a half years. This one, the Shea Moisture Yucca and Baobab Anti-Breakage Mask. I love this stuff. I didn't, I really like it. It leaves my hair very soft. It goes on smooth. I can use it to detangle with. So I really like this a lot. And usually it's $9.99. Sometimes you'll find it for like $11.99, but I love it. 
and I believe this is what 12 ounces I can use this four times and the next one which is new but it leaves my hair extremely soft it goes on the same way really nice and smooth and this is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask so this one is more for moisture and for damaged hair and then this one would be for thin hair and it has protein in it so I heard it was good as like um, a protein treatment so these are my two favorites I really like these a lot and they run for about the same price my next one would be the curl rehab moisturizing hair treatment I won this in the um, curly Nikki basket that she has every month and I mean it is great it goes on nice it smells wonderful this is the gardenia coconut scent mm, I've used it twice and this is eight ounces I've checked the price for it it's twenty dollars for the eight ounce and then they have a um, 32 ounce which is forty five dollars I think I'm gonna invest in it because I really like this stuff a lot a lot and I don't want to run out of it it's not available anywhere around here so I like to really keep those things on hand and then for another um this is a reconstructor it has silk in it silk amino acids and um biotin pathanol glycerin pearl powder so it's like a protein um treatment and this stuff is wonderful and it also has i believe there's mineral oil isn't it so if you're not I don't mind mineral oil I don't mind it um it's not something that I go to look for but I was using this when I was relaxed and it worked really good while I was relaxed and while I transitioned so it wound up staying with me as a keeper and then when I big chops I still had another new container so I was like I don't want to just throw it away and I'm gonna continue to use it it smells great I love the way it smells okay. And of course you guys know that I was introduced to a Razul mask and it is my favorite so far because it's the only one I've tried but it left my hair really buttery soft and went on smooth it smells great and I'm gonna keep it in my arsenal okay so that's my deep conditions and protein treatments things like that the next thing a shampoo now I don't shampoo like that let me tell you maybe every two to three months and in those months maybe once or twice in that month I am falling in love with the kinky curly come clean I didn't think I would but I really really like this stuff it does not dry out my hair it doesn't strip my hair my hair still feels soft but I know it's clean I really really like it I didn't think <laughs> I am not big on shampoo but I am going to keep this around I like it a lot I believe it's like $13.99 and I got this from the drugstore. I like this a lot. So those are my shampoos, my conditioners, and my rinse outs and co-washes. Um, what was next? My oils. My oils. Okay. So I've been using the Jamaican black castor oil now. Before I was using the coconut Jamaican black castor oil. And they're pretty much the same. Just one has coconut in it or whatever the case may be. I really like this um, Jamaican black castor oil. It's very thick. Um, the benefits are great, you know, for thinning hair. If you want to, um, like, right here in the front, my hair is thin, so I, it's fine, and it's and it's thin, like in the front, front, like right here. So I like to use it there. I like to also use it on my scalp, and it helps to keep dandruff away. Hello, ain't had a dandruff flake in like ever since I started using it. So this is great. It is very thick. So I don't use it, I sometimes use it on my hair shaft, but it's not something that I'll be like, oh yeah, this is, no, it's not a go-to for that. But if it's around and I'm using it, then yeah, I'll put it on there to seal. But I normally don't use it for that, I use it for my scalp and around my edges. To seal, um, after moisturizing, I'll use the coconut oil, which this is the Tropical Traditions Coconut Oil. And I'm having a giveaway on my, um, my blog for this. I really like the way it's processed. It's processed like, I'm not sure about how other companies do it because they don't even tell a story about how they get their coconut oil. But this company tells you and it's no like, it's no machines used. Um, small scale family businesses produce this oil in small batches taking great care and pride in their work. All aspects of the production including packaging are certified organic to the strictest standards. Um, you can find out more on my blog about it. 
but I love the way it's processed and that's very important. All the nutrients, the reason why you're using these oils is not only to seal your hair but to get the nutrients and the benefits from them. So if this is being processed really fine and very strict, that's telling me that the benefits are still going to be in it and I'm using it for the purpose that, hello, that is for. <laughs> for all those good fatty acids. And what I'm starting to like a lot also is grapeseed oil. So this was a recent purchase. I was using the now, couldn't get it because it was online. I didn't feel like ordering it again. So I went and picked this up. I'm loving it. It's not too heavy. It's not too thick. It, it actually absorbs into my hair really well. Leaves my hair soft so it's not like it absorbs so much that I don't know that I have anything on my hair. I love this grapeseed oil. I'm loving it. Olive oil disappears too fast for me. Jojoba oil, jojoba oil, whatever you want to call it, it goes away way too fast for me. And I don't like that. I feel like I have to keep moisturizing like every day if I use one of those oils. With those three oils that I just showed you, perfect work for my hair, very fine. Um, the next thing I wanted to get into is something that's new for me. You guys know about my styling age. You know what I like already. Excuse me. But I've been introduced to something that is on the ground, very inexpensive, and it's giving them a run for their money. This is the Cantu for um, natural hair. This is the creamy hair lotion, which I received in my curl kit. And then, and you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot. It smooths your hair, softens your hair. I don't have frizz after using it. When I'm doing my twists and I take them out, they're very, very smooth. Now, of course, when I separate and I do all my stuff that I do, <laughs> I get frizz. And the coconut curling cream. I paid $8.29 for this. And they smell great. This is a very nice, it looks thick, right? But it's really not, it's really, really not like, it feels great. I'm just going to, you know, put that in my hair. It does wet your hair. So like if you're going to do a retwist, then you wouldn't, I wouldn't put any water unless I'm putting it on my ends. And then that would be it. But you can even just use this on your ends. But I do like to put some water on my ends when I do a retwist or whatever the case may be. Um, I think that's it. Please go out and check my blog for the giveaway. And congratulations to everybody on their big chop anniversary, their natural journey, their mine is a healthy natural hair journey that I'm on. Not do I just want length, but I want healthy hair. If I got no length and it just stayed healthy and it never grew, which of course is going to grow as healthy, that's fine with me. Um, I wanted to also show you guys some recent purchases I made because I, hello, I'm a YouTube junkie, so of course when I watch and I see these things, I'm like, if I see enough of it and I really believe what the person is saying and I really can feel them, I'm like, yeah, gotta try it, I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> so this is the Eco Styler olive, olive Oil Gel I just picked up. I'm gonna try this out. And the Eco Styler Moroccan Argon Oil Gel. I'm going to try these both out. I want to see how well they work. I paid $4 for this one out of Rite Aid, $4.79 I believe. And this one I paid $4.79 for. But it comes with 50% more. I don't mind. I'm going to try them out see how they work out for me. Especially for my wash and goes. And I picked this up because everybody was raving about it. This is the Aussie Moist. I don't know how well it's going to work for me but I picked it up because I want to see what the hype is all about so I'm going to try this out oh it has a whole sea oil and I didn't know that and it has aloe leaf extract I didn't know that I just picked it up honestly I'm going to try this out let you guys know and last but not least something new that I'm trying out I just received it so hopefully my camera doesn't cut off by the time I can get this open to show you guys was some aloe vera juice and this cost me seven dollars i believe i ordered it online yes yeah, seven dollars and 44 cents that's my own um, receipt i literally just got it um i 
want to try this out because everybody is saying it works really well for frizz and for closing the cuticle so i'm going to try this out um a full shrimp vegetable juice fruit of the earth uses only fresh aloe vera gel from the miracle plant of the ages contains no sugar starches flavors or thickeners um, the ingredients, organic aloe vera gel, citric acid, sodium ben benosate, a food preservative at less than like 1%. So it's really, really pure. And I'm going to mix mix this up with my water. Okay. So what I want you guys to do is leave a comment in the description box telling me to enter you into the giveaway. I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I also wanted to know if you would like to do a video response about maybe your anniversary for your big chop or your transitioning um, anniversary. Or if you just wanted to do a video response showing me some of the things you like, if you use any of the products I'm talking about, if you have any recommendations. And hmm, I think that's it. So congratulations to us ladies who have went natural, who are transitioning, who are embracing our, our roots. Bye, everybody.